Amen. That's a, it's a pointing to us. Not only to die, but it's also a pointing that things would come our way and that uh, we'd have to uh, fight the devil, have to fight the flesh, and have to, have, to, have to fight the world. And sometimes, and it should not be, but sometimes you feel like you're fighting them in the church. Amen. Feel like that. Amen. Fighting this. Amen. Fighting that one and trying to. But we're all. We ought to be in the same. We're on the same team, ain't we? We ought to be going for the same. Amen. Pushing toward the same prize. But it seems like so many times that churches will fall out. And amen. We don't want that to happen here, do we? We want. We we want to love one another. Amen. And amen. And if we love the Lord, we'll love one another. Amen. That's how we know we pass from death to life. Amen. Is that we love the brethren. That's how I know. That's, that's, it was natural that when God saved me, I used to, I didn't like to tell people I loved them, but when God saved me, I, I just want to tell everybody that I loved them. Amen. If you've got your Bibles this morning, going to be in Jeremiah chapter number 32, and you pray for me. Amen. I'd, uh, amen. God knows my heart. I'd like to get out of this if I could, but I'm going I'm to have to give you what God gave me. Jeremiah 32. And going to start reading in verse number six. And amen. If you'll take heed and if you'll, you'll listen to what God, God's trying to tell you, amen, maybe it'll help somebody today. And, and I, I want to tell you one thing. Only reason a man of God, a true man of God ever preaches anything is because he loves you. Amen. That's the only reason why. So Jeremiah 32 and verse number 6. You pray real hard for me and I'll try to give you what God give me. And if you're here and you're not, and you're not where you need to be, yeah, you might claim to be saved. You might claim you got it, you're right. Amen. But your works tell on you. Amen. And you and God know where you stand with God. And if you're not where you need to be with God, I pray that this would be the day that you turn things over to the Lord and get things right with God. I don't care how many times you prayed. I don't care if you've been baptized. Don't care if you've washed the saints' feet. If you're living in sin, you ain't right with God, and you need to get right with God. Jeremiah 32 and verse number six. The Bible said, and Jeremiah said, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, Hanamel, the son of Shalom, thine uncle shall come unto thee, saying, By thee my field that is in Anathoth, for the right of the redemption is thine to buy it. So Hanamel, mine uncle's son, came to me in the court of the prison according to the word of the Lord and said unto me, By my field I pray thee that is in Anathoth, which is in the country for Benj- of Benjamin. For the right of inheritance is thine and the redemption is thine. Buy it for thyself. Then I knew that the, this was the word of the Lord. And I bought the field of Hanamiel, my, un- my uncle's son, that was in Anathoth, and weighed him the money, even seventeen shekels of silver. And I subscribed the evidence and sealed it and took the witness and weighed him the money in the balances. So I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open. And I gave the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch, the son of Neri, the son of Messiah, in the sight of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, and in the presence of the witness that subscribed the book of the purchase. Before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. That's all I'm going to read. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, Lord, for, our Lord, another time, another opportunity, God, to, our Lord, bow unworthy heads. And God, I, I pray now, Lord, you that just uh, I take your word and God, that uh, you'd anoint me to preach it, Lord. God, is, our Lord, just as weak as I am, God, knowing, our Lord, that in my flesh, God, I know that uh, there dwelleth no good thing. But God, I pray that, our Lord, that that's on the inside of me, God, uh, that that you Called me with Lord and that God that our Lord that should that Lord you had you baptized me with one day God with fire I pray Lord you just anoint me with that spirit and God that you'd let me open my mouth and God that you'd fill it and Lord I God for that one that may be here God I, that ain't where they need to be God that one I God maybe they made a profession Lord I God maybe they went through the motions I, but God there's something that ain't right I, God down on the inside of them. I pray you deal with them. And God that you'd give them what they need at this day and hour in which we live. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. And amen. Now, at the scripture here that God had laid on my heart, you might think that I, brother, it's an odd scripture that God, amen, had placed amen on my mind. But amen, by the help of the Lord, I want to preach to you today. Amen. On where is the heaven? 
evidence. Now, uh, the Bible said that Jeremiah, uh, brother, he bought this field and uh, uh, that brother, when he went down, he, amen, took the evidence of the purchase and brother, he gave it there uh, amen, to show that he'd bought the field. Uh, and now, we all know that, uh, uh, brother, when you'd buy uh, maybe something, amen, uh, uh, they give you a receipt. Uh, amen, if you're ever, uh, amen, maybe going to return that thing. Uh, amen, you've got to have that receipt. Uh, I to show that you bought that and that piece of paper that shows that what you've got and brother it's really yours it shows that you have purchased that I will brother that's the evidence that you made the purchase I will brother when God makes a purchase how when God saves a man or a woman and then God's got some evidence I brother that he saved your soul I just say, what is that? How will, brother, the evidence of brother of being saved is the fact that you live right. And the evidence of being saved is the fact that you turn, I mean, you turn from sin and you turn to the Lord. I will, friend, amen. I want to ask you, as some of you sitting in the church, I mean, I want to ask you right now, where is the evidence that God saved your soul? Where is the evidence uh, that you've got the Holy Ghost? Uh, uh, brother, the evidence uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, it ain't amen running around uh, and speaking in tongues. Uh, amen, but the evidence uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, now if God's give you that gift uh, and you do it the right way, uh, amen, amen, you do it the way God said it, uh, amen, I'd say amen, that's all right. Uh, uh, but that ain't what shows that you're saved. Uh, uh, the evidence uh, of the Holy Ghost Ghost. It's the fact that you don't drink no more. Have the evidence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fact that you don't cuss no more. Have the evidence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fact that you go to church. Have the evidence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fact that you read your Bible. Have the evidence of the Holy Ghost. I brother, amen. It ain't. It amen. It ain't just having your name. I brother on a church roll. It ain't carrying a Bible. How are there sinner men that carry a Bible every day? How there sinner women that carry their songbook every day? How about the evidence of the Holy Ghost? How brother is a new life? How we sing that song? I'm in a new world. How since the Lord saved me, I will hallelujah. I'm glad that all things have been made new. How brother when I got up? I mean, everything just looks so I'm much better in my life. I mean, amen, I've heard people say that the grass was so much greener and the trees and the leaves, brother, on the trees, that they look so much better. But friend, there was some evidence that went with me when God saved me. And when I went out in the world, I wasn't the same man no more. Amen, when I went down, I brought to the workplace, I I wasn't the same man no more. And when I went to the house of God, I brother, I didn't sit there. I was so bound down with sin. I sat there condemned. But I had liberty. I had liberty. I friend, if you ain't right with God, how you ought to feel condemned. How you ought to feel awful. How you ought to be afraid. I prayed and sung that song. Are you afraid to die? If you're here and you're not right, how you ought to be scared to death. I that if you die, you'd go to hell. I pray that's where you'd go. I pray that some of you, and I'm just going to preach, some of you are baptized, but I don't see no evidence. Some of you, amen, I've seen you pray, but I don't see no evidence. And you say, preacher, I mean, who are you to judge? I ain't, but Jesus said, that every tree that abides in me I shall bring forth Good food, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Where is the evidence? Amen. I'm just going to get right down to where we live. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. If it ain't, you might as well get, amen, hold on because I'm going to anyway. Amen. 
Amen. Where is the evidence? Amen. Where is the evidence? Amen. Brother, we claim to be right. Amen. But you can't turn loose of the cussing. Amen. Amen. You come in here and you're one thing. But you get out there and you're another thing. Amen. I'm going to tell you why some of you, how you can't live it, how you won't let go of the world, how you won't let go of, amen, them. Amen. Amen. Now, if you got, how they meant the Bible said had to come out from among the world and be separate and touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. Now let me tell you this one thing. If you can go out of here and you can say your four letter words, that's the evidence that you ain't got it. That's the evidence that you ain't got it. And now y'all might as well pray for me. I'm trying to help you. I mean, I'm worried about some of you. I mean, your pastor goes home and brother, I get down on my knees and I pray for you. I think, oh God, Lord, I'm worried about them. I'm worried about them. I say, where's the evidence, God? If they had what I've got, they'd be a different creature than they used to be. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You think it's just you, you hurt. Amen. When you, amen, live like hell and you're lukewarm. No, I go home, it bothers me. Amen, I cry, I pray. I say, God, I, Lord, I don't know why. I, Lord, they just ain't got it. I'm afraid that some of you sitting right here, amen, in the church pew, how you missed the mark, how you missed the mark. I, let me tell you, I don't mean to brag. I mean, I'm not trying to put no feathers in somebody's cap. I, but brother, I appreciate a man, amen, that when it gets right, I, there's a change. I, there's a change. Amen. I, I sitting up there at work. I, brother, on Friday. Amen. Amen. Brittany sent me in the call. I'm in a group text. And she said, Jason's down here. Amen. In the kitchen. I pouring out all the liquor. Amen. Pouring out all the beer. Amen. Hallelujah. I where's the evidence? Right there it is. Right there it is. And brother, somebody that's really got it. Amen. They won't just have it. Amen. For two weeks. I there'll be some evidence that follows with them. Amen. 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 I don't mean to embarrass you, Jason. I ain't trying to. Amen. But some of you, you need an experience like that. Amen. You need to meet the Holy Ghost. You need to meet the Lord. Amen. Jesus said, beware of them false prophets. Amen. He said, you, amen. You say, you can't judge me, preacher. Amen. Matthew 7, 1, it all day you want, if you want to. Amen. But just go a few verses down. Amen. When Jesus said, them false prophets, you'll know them by the trade man, the fruit they bear. Amen. You'll know them. He said, they come in among you. Amen. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. How where's the evidence? How where's the evidence? I wish to God somebody, amen, some of you that claim to be saved. I wish you'd show me by James said, oh, amen, you say you're saved by your faith and you're proving yourself by your faith. He said, I'm going to show you my faith by my works. Brother, your works will tell on you. What follows after you will tell on you. Some men sins, they go beforehand, but some men follow after. I'm glad I got all my sin. My brother took care of it, Calvary. I don't want nothing following me. I don't want nothing following me. I want some evidence in my life. Amen. Where is it? Where is it? Amen, J.M. on some, I just don't see it. Amen. That's all right, ain't it? Amen. I mean, I'm just going to be frank on some of you. I'm worried that if you died right now, you'd go to hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. I mean, I'm worried about you. Amen, I'm worried about you. Amen, because, amen, there was a time. Amen, maybe, amen, yeah. Amen, you hit the altar and you got up. Amen, you fell down, amen, you read your Bible. But now, how you don't read your Bible no more? How you say, preacher, how do you go home with me? No, but God reveals some things. God reveals some things. Friend, where is the evidence that you've been changed? Where is the evidence that you 
you've been made holy. I'll tell you why. That you don't want to be around at the people of God. How you know you ain't right. How you know you're not where you need to be. And when you get around God's people, how you feel so condemned. How you feel so condemned. But where is the evidence that you're one of God's sheep? Amen. Amen. I know it ain't popular. Amen. Amen. But some of you ain't got a bit of evidence in your life. Amen. Some of you ain't got a bit of evidence in your life. Amen. I see. I mean, when you, amen, you put two people side by side and you see how one's dropped all this and one come out of this and one come out of that and then, amen, you look at somebody else and you can't tell a difference from what they was. I mean, where is the evidence? Where is the evidence? How the Bible said, how that old Jeremiah, how that he came in, he purchased his field and he had some evidence that he bought it. Amen, you know what God's looking for? And now God knows your heart. How about God's looking for some evidence? And then that he bought you. How God's are looking for the blood. How the Bible said, how that down the days of the amen of Moses, how brother in the land of Egypt, how that God said, I want you to take a lamb, and then kill one for every house, and take the amen, I take the hyssop, I dip it in the blood, I put it on the side post, and brother on the lintel of the door, and like we sing that song, I when I, I see the blood. I went, I, I see the blood. I, what's he going to do? He's going to pass over you. I, well, I'm so glad, hallelujah, I, that one day the blood I got applied to my soul. I, one day the blood. And brother, when you get the blood, I, there'll be some evidence in your life. Yeah. Amen. I ain't a preacher this to brow, bitch. I want you to get right with God. Amen. I don't want you to die and go to hell. Amen. Say, man, how many have rode the church pew right to hell? Amen. Rode the church pew right to hell. Amen. Let's go one step further. How many have been on the deacon board? I went right to hell, Jaden. How many have got up and sung? I went right to hell. How many have stood behind the sacred desk? And brother went right to hell. And there'll be some evidence. I brother, the evidence that I gave man got saved. It ain't me getting up here. Amen. Amen. Cutting the shine. Amen. Amen. It's a fact. Amen. That when I go out there and go home, I'm not the same man I used to be. I'm not the same man I used to be. I'm the old man is dead. I mean, the old man is dead. I'm, I'm looking at you today. I want to ask you right now if you really got it, where is the evidence? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I appreciate. Amen. And I don't mean to embarrass people and call them out, but I just want to, I'm using some examples. I appreciate Brother Stephen back there. Come to me. He said, Word, I need to read it. Word, I need to read it. Amen. I want to read this. I want to, I want to read the Bible. Amen. We ought the Lord to be a desire, hadn't we? Amen. To read the Bible. Amen. And when, amen. There might be some things in your life that still ain't right. Amen. Might be some things in your life. And by the help of the good Lord, I want to preach it to you. Amen. Get you to move up. Amen. But the evidence that you got it, it ain't that you're perfect. But when the man of God preaches you the word, amen, if you really got it, you'll want to move up to God. If you really got it, you'll want to draw nigh to God. Brother, when the woman down there at the well, she left her water pot. Brother, she didn't need that no more. She didn't need that no more. Amen. You don't need your liquor no more. Uh, you don't need your beer no more. Uh, you don't need your cussing friends. Uh, brother, if amen, uh, let me tell every one of you, if you've got buddies that uh, don't respect you uh, and amen, can't keep their mouth shut around you, uh, there's one of two things. Uh, they don't see no evidence in you. Amen. Uh, uh, they don't see no evidence in you. Amen. Are you amen? Uh, or you don't need to be around them one. Uh, if, they, if you really had the Holy Ghost, uh, they'd see something in you. Uh, brother, I used to run with the crowd. Uh, they went to the bar. I brother on Friday night but now I've got me some family hallelujah that they live right they talk right they dress right and then they do what the Bible says every day of their life yeah. amen where's the evidence at amen praise the Lord I just don't see it on some of you 
Amen. Let's just get real. Amen. Amen. Some of you, I'm worried about you. Amen. Amen. Some of you. Let me tell you what it does. Amen. All all that on Facebook and baptizing people. And then they go out and live like hell. Amen. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Amen. Amen. Get put on the water. Amen. Then, amen. Oh, they go to Valley View. They go up there to Valley View. Amen. God help us. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? It ain't just you you're hurting, but the name of Jesus Christ that you was baptized in. Brother, amen. You're putting a black eye on it. Where is the evidence in your life? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, it don't hit every one of us. Amen. Where's the evidence? Praise his holy name. God laid this on my heart. And I thought, oh Lord. Amen. God. Amen. But you know why God laid this on my heart? Eugene, I care about you. I care about people in this church. I do. I love it. I love every one of you. I do, I love you. Amen. That's amen. If I didn't, I shouldn't be up here. Amen. There's a difference in a hireling. There's a difference in beating people down and preaching them the truth because you love them. I love you. I want to see you go to heaven. I will sing that old song. I want to stroll over heaven with you. I will ever last one of you. I want to see you in heaven. I want to see you in heaven. But I'm worried about you. I bet if you died right now, I'm going to tell you and I'll tell it like this. If I was to preach some of you's funeral, ain't no way I'd get up and say you went to heaven. Amen. Amen. Praise His holy name. Amen. I know it. It's quiet. Amen. But you that's right, you know you're right. Amen. And you that ain't, you better realize you ain't. You better realize you can't cuss. And you can't drink. And you can't watch pornography. And then you can't sit down and watch them TV shows and with all that cussing in it and be right with God. Amen. Amen. Where is the evidence? Praise His holy name. Amen. The Bible said, Amen, that tree. That's planted by the rivers of water. Amen. I quoted it this week. But he bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And whatsoever it doeth, amen, shall prosper. Let me tell you why you can't do nothing. Not why everything seems to go wrong. And you can't, amen, and don't seem like nothing's going your way. Now, brother, it might be that you're kicking against the pricks. It might be that you're like old Paul. Out down there saying, Lord, who are you? He said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It's hard for thee to kick against the pricks. I mean, oh, it's so hard. I, brother, when you kick against the Lord, I, but what some of you need to do is bring it to Jesus right now. I friend, if there ain't evidence in your life, it's time to pray and seek the Lord while he may be found. Amen. Amen. Where's the evidence at, child of God? Where's the evidence at, sinner man? Where's the evidence at, sinner woman? Amen. I've seen some people grow faster than others. And I understand that. Amen. But if you're living in sin, you're lost. That's right. yeah. Amen. That's right. If you're living in sin, you're lost. Amen. Wine's a mocker, strong drink is raging. Whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Amen. Amen. It don't matter what you think about it. It's what the Bible says. Yeah. Amen. I told them last night. Amen. Amen. I was up there. Amen. We was talking after service. And I said, you can tell it when it don't go over good. And brother, I can feel it this morning. I felt it last night. I can feel it this morning. But it's all right. And you can take it. And then you can put it down in your heart. And you can draw an eye to God. Or you can walk out of them doors. And then worse than you come in here. And then if you die, on your way home. And you, amen. Everybody around you I'm thinking you're right with God. Amen. Thinking you're saved. But you and God know it. And that there ain't no evidence in your life. Amen. Where's it at? Amen. Where is the evidence? Amen. Amen. Has there been a change in you? I'm not done. Has there been a change in you? Something happened in your life? Amen. When you, when you meet Jesus. There'll be a change in you. When you meet Jesus, He'll make you holy. When you meet Jesus, amen, you'll want to tell everybody. When you meet Jesus, you'll want to go to church. Amen. Amen. And God, amen. I thought, Lord, amen. I thought, Lord, how in the world? Amen. Now, 
Hey man, I knew I had to preach this this morning because half of you don't see no evidence in. You ain't gonna be here tonight. Hey man, hey man, I knew I had to preach it right now because you that ain't you that ain't got no evidence, you ain't gonna be back here tonight. Hey man, but if you had it like I had it, hey, you'd want to be in the house of God when the doors is open. Hey man, praise the Lord. Some of you used to be faithful. Some of you used to be here every Wednesday, every Sunday. But now the only time you come is on Sunday morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't see no evidence in you. I don't see no evidence in you. I'm afraid that you're still lost. Amen. Praise the Lord. If it hits you, I say, just say, oh me. Amen. God knows. You have to work. God knows if you can't be here. Amen. But God also knows when you're doing something else, when you couldn't be in the house of God. God also knows what the desires of your heart is. God also knows, brother, what you do when you go home. I don't have to follow you home. But let me tell you what the Lord does. He does the man of God like he did old. Brother Elijah. And the Bible said that that king said, how in the world? Amen. Who is it, he said, that's going down yonder and telling the kings of Israel, where are we going to be at next? And they said, oh, king, it ain't nobody down there. It ain't nobody in our camp. But there's a man of God down there. And what you're saying in your bedroom, God tells that man of God, God has a way of revealing things to the man of God. Amen. Amen. Where's the evidence? Where is it? Amen. Praise the Lord. Some of you ought to be so convicted this morning you couldn't, can't look at me. Hey Amen. Some of you ought to have so much conviction on you. Because you know what you got ain't real. You know what you got. Amen. Ain't enough. And what you got might be good enough to live by. But when you die, it ain't going to be good enough to die by. What you got might, amen, make you a better, a moral person. But when you die, it ain't going to be good enough. And when you're laying on your hospital bed, amen, on the hospice bed, how you're heat up with cancer, brother, it ain't going to be good enough to die by. Amen. But oh, what them old men of God and what them old sainted mothers and what them old, amen, saints that's went on before us, what they had, it's good enough to die by. What they had, it's good enough to take us home. What they had. I was evidence in their life. Amen. I praise this holy name. Where's the evidence at? Now some of you lost. Well, there's loss here this morning. Hey, I believe that. Hey, Amen. You ain't got no evidence because you ain't right. But some of you claim to be right and there just ain't no evidence in your life. Hey, Amen. You don't read your Bible. Hey, Amen. You don't want to come to church. You come to church because it's an obligation. How you come to church because you're afraid and that I'll come to you and say, why ain't you here? Hey, Amen. You better not come to church for me. You better go to church because you want to be there. Because you love the Lord and if we'll come together I brother we've seen God move but if we'll say man if we love the Lord like we ought to love the Lord it's untelling what the Lord would do amen I'm glad there's some that still want to meet amen praise the Lord if you preach this to a lot of places they'd not to ask you to come back amen brother Brandon Martin talked to me the other day. He said, I preached at a church the other day. Amen. He said, they, they, didn't, they told me they didn't need me no more. I said, that's all right, brother. That's all right. Amen. 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 Like I said last night, I've had to dust, amen, shake the dust off my feet too. It's all right. But amen, like I told Samuel, God said, it ain't you they rejected Samuel. But it's me they rejected. If you go out them doors knowing that you ain't right, ain't no sense in blowing up in me. Ain't no sense in saying I'm picking on you. I, brother, amen, friend, I ain't picking on you. I'm concerned that you're lost, how you've been deceived, and you're going to hell. Amen. amen. Where's the evidence at? Amen. The Bible said faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. I don't see heaven. But you know what the evidence is to me? Something happened. Something happened. Amen. When I was lost, something happened. Amen. When I was... I mean, something got a hold of me, Jennifer. 
Something got a hold of me. Same thing got a hold of you. Amen. You that saved today, same thing got a hold of you. Amen. Something got a hold of me. Amen. Well, Sean sings that song. Amen. I went there for spite. But oh my, that night, something got a hold of me. Brother Earl, I'm glad. I got the same thing. I appreciate Brother Earl. I looked over at Clifton. I said, I wish. And we had a house full of Earls. Amen. Amen. I, lo- Amen. I appreciate all of you. I don't you take me wrong. Amen. But oh, we need some people that say, God, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to worship you. Amen. It don't matter what everybody thinks about me. Amen. Not everybody's a shouter. I know. Amen. Not everybody's loud. Amen. But there'll be some evidence in your life if you got Amen. It won't just be in here. Amen. It'll go home with you. It'll go home with you. Amen. Where's it at? You tell me you're saved? I say, show me the evidence. Amen. You tell me you've been born again? Amen. If we just open the doors of the church this morning, there's some of you, if you come forward, I'd tell you no. Amen. Because there ain't no evidence in your life. There ain't no evidence in your life. Amen. If I knew what I know now, I wouldn't have baptized you. Amen. Because there ain't no evidence in your life. Amen. Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence? It's time you get a hold of God and then draw nigh to God and you better get what you need. Because, friend, that deception that the devil slipped you, it's going to take you to a place that you don't want to go to. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You better thank God you got somebody that loves you enough to tell you that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. You want to go somewhere they pat you on the back? Go right ahead. You'll die and go to hell. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. You want to go somewhere and let people cuss in their church? Go right ahead. You'll die and go to hell. Right. Amen. Amen. You want to go somewhere where they don't ever preach against sin? Go right ahead. You'll die and go to hell. Amen. But oh, if you, amen. I thank God. I thank God put me under some men that still preach the truth. I've heard, I've seen a bunch. I've seen a bunch of hirelings. But I'm glad there's still some shepherds that say I love the sheep. I'm gonna tell them the truth. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You remember what I'm preaching to you? Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Amen. The Bible said, Amen, and when Joseph got down there, they knew that there was something about this dreamer. The baker and the butler got down there in the prison. Amen. And when one of them got back up there at the king, he said, I remember my faults this day. And I know that down there there's a man. Amen. That can tell you what your dream means. There was evidence in Joseph's life. Amen. You know what the evidence that Joseph had was? And when that woman met, as she laid hold on him and said, Come down here and sleep with me. Come down here and lay with me. He said, No. I mean, I'm a servant, your husband. How can I do that to him? And you know what he did? He didn't stick around. Amen. Let me just say this. If Joseph would have stood there, he'd have probably give in. But he had enough sense I had to say I'm getting away from all this mess. Amen. 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 Some of you can't get away from the world because you're living right in it. Yeah. Amen. 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 Some of you can't let lo- loose of what you're doing because everybody you surround yourself with, amen, they drink and they cuss and they don't go to church. Amen. Amen. Every one of you young people have the friends you surround yourself with. Amen. 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 And they'll take you down the road they're going. I just say, I'll witness to them, preacher. Oh, I've heard that. I'll go down the bar and witness. You'll go down the bar and if the Lord was to come, how you die and go to hell. Amen. Amen. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Oh, Jeremiah had some evidence, didn't he? Amen. Oh, Lord. I think I'll just quit. Ain't that what he said? Amen. What you, pastor? What if I went home and said, Lord, I don't think I'll ever preach it that way again. Lord, I don't think I'll ever dig them up again. Lord, amen. Everyone of them's mad at me. I don't think I'll do it again. But you know what's down in my heart? I've left the church discouraged before. I have. Feel like everybody's been mad at me. Yeah. I've been there, Clifton. But I know there's one that stands with me. I know there's one that stands with me. 
And the same power that Jeremiah had. I brother down in his bones. He said, I ain't going to do it no more, Lord. I'm going to quit. I ain't going to do it no more. Amen. But he said, wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. I brother, there's something down in my bones. I there's something down in me. I Jaden, there's something down in me. I, what is it, Jeremiah? I don't know what it is. I, but it's like a fire shut up in my bones. What is it, Jeremiah? His word. I was in my heart. I, I like a burning fire. I shut up in my bones. And Jeremiah said, I could not refrain. I had to tell it. I had to tell it. I friend, I've got to tell it. If I don't tell it, I one day your blood will be on my hands. Amen. Hey, where's the evidence? Hey, Amen. Let me tell you what the evidence is. Sister Catherine apologizing. And Pam apologizing. And with everything Pam did, still somebody. Hey, Amen. I mean, I got a text this morning that plumb aggravated me and made me just want to cry at the same time. Hey Amen. If we just quit being a bunch of babies, and that's what I told them. I said, you're a baby. You're acting like a big old baby. Amen. Hey Amen. Hey Where's the evidence that we got the truth? Amen. Hey Amen. Hey you won't fall out with everybody over everything. Amen. Hey Amen. Hey you won't fall out when somebody talks about you. Amen. Hey Amen. Hey if you want to be a man of God, then you better get used to it. How they're going to talk about you. How they're going to backbite on you. How but hallelujah. I'm glad I've got a friend. Hallelujah. I'm glad I've got a friend. Amen. He's he, amen. I'm glad he goes with me. I'm glad he walks with me. I'm glad he is the evidence in my life. Amen. Well, hallelujah. I feel good in the Lord. Amen. Where's the evidence at? Thank you, Lord. The Bible said, and I'm closing. Amen. Over in the book of Acts, that there was a man by the name of Simon. And, and the Bible said that Philip went down and he began to preach. And people started getting right, Clifton. And the same thing Simon did is I'm afraid what some of you have done. Amen. P- Peter, people started getting right. Yeah. Amen. And, amen. Old Simon, he said he went down there while they was having a big revival. And Simon, he got down. He asked the Lord to save him. Amen. The Bible said that Peter got, new, got word that they hadn't received the Holy Ghost. You know what Peter could have said? Peter could have went down there and said, Boys, where's the evidence at? Yeah. Where's the evidence at? And the Bible said that some of them, that Peter went down there and he prayed with them. And he laid hands on them. And they received the Holy Ghost. That's when they got born again. It wasn't back when they believed with their mind. It's when they received the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hey, Amen. It's more. It's more than knowing in your mind, ain't it? You couldn't have told me there wasn't a God when I was lost. I knew better than that junk. But one day I believe in my heart. One day I believe in my heart. Amen. The Bible said that old Peter got down there and he began to pray. And then Simon seen. Amen. Simon seen what Peter's are doing. Some of you seen the. Amen. The pants on the back. That everybody else was getting. And you wonder everybody thank good of you. But it don't matter what God thinks or what I think. It's what the Lord knows about you. Amen. So where's your evidence at? Amen. The Bible said that he told Peter. He said, Peter, I'd sure like to have that gift you got. Be able to lay hands on the Holy on people and then get the Holy Ghost. You know what he said? Here's my billfold, Peter. That's what he said, wasn't it? I want to buy it. Amen. I want to buy it. Amen. I want to buy what you got. Amen. But you know what the Bible said? Come without money. Hallelujah. Come without price. Come by wine. Come by milk. Hallelujah. You can't buy with no money. You can't buy with your amen. With your riches. But it was paid on Calvary. And if you really get it, there'll be some evidence in your life. Amen. Where's it at? Amen. Where's the evidence at? Philip. Philip did what he could do. But I just wouldn't listen, old Philip. The Bible said that Peter said, he looked at Simon right in the face. You know who you are? Amen. You know who you look up here at me. Let me tell every one of you, if you ain't showing no evidence, amen, your money is going to perish with you. That's what Peter told Simon. Your money is going to perish with you. Everything you got is going to perish with you. You know what? Amen. Thank you, Braden. You know what it said? Amen. Amen. Peter looked at him. 
And he said, he said, I perceive that you're in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. He said, repent. I bet the Lord may forgive you. I bet the Lord, amen, the Lord may pardon your sin. Amen. He said, you're still in sin, buddy. Amen. You're still in sin. How do you know why you ain't got no evidence? How you're still a living in sin. You ain't never been born again. Amen. It lasts longer than two days. Amen. Hey man, you, hey man, I've seen people that really had it and get cold on God. But if you really get in a loss longer than a day or two, yeah. hey man, there'll be a change in you. There'll be a change in you. Where is the evidence, friend? Hey man, old Simon, you know what the evidence that Simon didn't have it was? That he looked at it and he wanted the glory. Not of God. Hey man, you know what I've, I've told the Lord so many times? I mean, I, hey man, I want God to, I mean, I'm a, I want God to use me more than he does anybody. I mean, I want the Lord to use me. Amen. But I say, but not for my glory. I want, I want God to get glory in this church. I want to see God use every one of you. But I say, God, pour it all over my brother and just give it to me too. Amen. Amen. I want the, I want, I want the glory of God in my life. I want people to see evidence in me. Amen. If you follow me, you'll see me fail. You'll see me come short. I better what I do. You'll see me get down on my knees. <coughs> and you'll see me call out to God. Amen. Let me tell you something. If you can sin and you don't feel convicted for it, let me just tell you what the Bible said. And this ain't no, this ain't no filthy word. This is the Bible. Let me tell you what you are. Amen. You know, amen. Everybody know what a bastard is. I ain't got no father. Amen. If you can sin and you don't feel, and God don't convict you and chasing you for it, the Bible said that you are a bastard. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence in your life? Amen. Every head bowed and every eye closed just for a few minutes. This morning, I wonder if there's somebody. Amen. I know there's somebody. I know you in here and you need to pray. So don't even, amen, don't even act like amen, you can hide. Amen. If God's dealing with you, you better come pray. Amen. It's time that you quit playing the game. It's time you quit playing. Amen. Going through the motions. It's time that you really get right with God. Amen. And if you really get right with God, there'll be some evidence in your life. Amen. You've seen others get right. You've seen others. Amen. You've seen them. You've seen God move on them and do things for them. But where's the evidence in your life? Where's the evidence?